Alan Rickman. This show is a cesspool of nonsense and no one should waste time on it. Listener discretion is advised. 911, what's your emergency? I'm dead! I think I'm dead! Oh, time's going by really, really, really slow and my heart's beating backwards! What makes you think your heart's beating backwards? Well, normally it goes goop boop, and now it's going boop goop! Are you having any other symptoms? Uh, uh, I can see sounds! I can hear colors! I forgot how to shit! Sir, have you taken any illegal substances? No! I just ate a brownie that a drug addict gave me, but that ain't got nothing to do with my emergency! And what's your emergency, sir? I measured my butt crack three times! It was longer each time! I'm splitting into two people! Ooh! There's like 17 more brownies on that plate. I'm gonna finish them off and call you back. <laughs> Welcome to the American Moron Entertainment Network. We shall drink the fear of those who mocked us. There you go. A little long this time. That is. Uh, I hope we're not over modulating. Nah. But we'll find out soon enough. Somebody else. Say. We're Come good on. here. We're good you here. You guys suck. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> Even if we're good, people tell us we suck. So. Yeah. We do, man. And there we are. We're bringing the comments up. So welcome back. Welcome back. What time is it? Okay, now I was gonna say first show, second show of the year. I, I don't I don't know. What was that? That was uh this. Ah. Teaser. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was uh, playing around with some covers, or not so much covers, but uh I don't know, stuff that uh let me see if I can find it. Uh, where the hell is it? It's here somewhere. If, uh, blah, 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 blah. Nope, 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 nope. Anyway, um, if, if we have the music, but the words are different, or if it's slightly different, I never know. I mean, is this it? That's not it. Yeah. Uh, I forgot so Anyway, so how 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 the hell? So you're 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 uh you're on your four days now, huh? Three days? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. First week in February. Uh, yep. Three days in, two days out. Well, I guess that's kind of, you know. It's like, one more day than I was hoping for. I, I had no problem with the two, but it's like three is just one too many. I do remember George Jeff, uh, George Jefferson, George Jetson complaining about three day work weeks, and maybe we're finally there. It's not a three day work week, it's a I five know. day it's work week. It's a five week. day work week, too, at home. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, even, it's even longer because, you know, at home, it's. Uh, mm -hmm. More hours. I have people that I work with that do that. They work, um, they're supposed to be done like 4.30 and they work till very, even after I I leave at 6.30 and I'm like, I don't understand it. It's like, are they paying you? Is it going to help? Bail. bail. I, I finished up yesterday a quarter to five, ran to the store, noticed I got gotten a, had gotten a message, mm -hmm. came back, worked till 6.30. What are you going to do? I am going to punch the hell out. Shut down, go downstairs, and ignore everything that happens. But I, except for this week, because I have to be on call, so I get the phone. But, but yeah, I. Uh, it's it's funny. Bree came in to ask me a question. I was like, not screaming, just kind of talking to the computer. Hmm. She just backed away, <laughs> just walked out. I'm like, I'm sorry, you need me? She goes, No, 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 you're busy. I'm like, No, I'm just bitching and moaning. It's like I said, man. Just I don't get it. It's like. It's become the world's become this thing where if you do a good job, they'll bury you. Mm -hmm. If you don't do a good job, well done. Mm. Here's some more money. Mm. Uh, Sometimes. Mm. Occasionally they get busted, but not enough. Not a goddamn enough. Anyhow. So what did you think of your Saturday night? That was good. Yeah. I, I went and listened to the playback and I wasn't happy with the mix out front oh what did you somebody record the whole thing somebody was recording something oh, okay and i'm like i don't remember playing that part and i'm like, not me playing that that's the other guy oh well yeah he was loud he was it's always a little loud yeah well it was a lot loud it, there's a conversation that needs to be had. <sighs> yep yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, uh hey. it was it was drowning everything out mm, and, and yeah the, there were a couple of times i was like how many guitar players such as that, there were other things getting drowned out. So, yeah, but uh, you had the you got a new song in that was kind of nice. That was different. 
Yeah, it was cool. I know you wanted to play that for a while. I I have. Now, if you could just uh, get Aaliyah in there, you'll be ready to go. <laughs> that and Jane. Mm, yeah. Which are both in the potentials. Cool. But, uh, I'm trying to think what the other tunes are that are that are coming. Well, there's there's this one. Oh, I know where to look. I'll, I'll play it from here. I'll you know okay. what I'm saying. I, can no. I go here. Yeah. There. Oh, there. Uh, oh, that. Let's see if this works. Hmm. I, I might even be able to get away with playing this because it's not actually a re- the recording. But Johnny Depp and uh, Gene Simmons and Matt Starr and Gilby Clark all played. Okay. Uh, hmm. Four days ago. And oh. Let's see what we got it here. Tells you a commercial. It is. <laughs> all right. Oh, wow. Guitar. Life sucks. Got that 1974 sound. Happy birth, uh, happy new year, Kenny. <laughs> oh, hey, Kenny. Our world traveler, Kenny, who uh, retired now. This is awesome. This is like in some little, yes, he is. Trying not to hate from you, some little, little bar somewhere. Try and make me feel better, Ken. <laughs> that's good. That's coming soon too. Nice, very yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. Stand up and shout. Mm. Uh, then there's this one. Huh? I just love the life. The life these guys like. You know, it's like you're an actor and then you're bored. You just go out with all your. But he was a musician friends. first. I, yeah, and that's yeah. usually what happens to these guys. Well, that's like the guy who played House, um, whose name escapes me now. The British guy. Um, he he's like a classically trained piano player. Hmm. And he plays with a lot of these guys just on the side, just like, yeah, I'm in LA. Why not? What the hell? That too. Really? Yes. Something a little slower than I would expect from you guys. Yeah. Hmm. Well, you know. Do a ballad make everyone yeah. cry? No, they'll just go out and smoke cigarettes. No, that's true. Yeah. Well, they'll do that anyway, and then they'll cry. Or piss, or whatever it is they or do. Or both. I mean, yeah. you can do both out there, I suppose. I guess people need a break. I don't know. Eh, you know, if they have a break in between sets. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, it's uh, funny. So it's funny. I had that on my agenda to talk about Gene Simmons and the whole deuce thing with, with Johnny Depp and Gilby Clark. That was cool. Matt, that Matt Sorum, I think, on drums. I don't know. I guess they were all hanging out somewhere. <laughs> Joel's sitting around the Viper room. Is he still in the Viper room? I don't know. Uh, what the hell? What think about it. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine if you owned a bar? Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, but would you drive it? Yes. Hmm. I don't know if I would. I could totally. Uh, that would be great. Did you ever see the movie um, Running Scared? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, God. Uh, I can't think. I just had the names, but it's two cops and they uh, decided to retire down to Key West and open a bar. Okay. And they were so excited about it. They both went on vacation. They went down. They had a great time. They bought a bar while they were there and heard uh, come to retire. And that's what the movies, they were running scared because they were, they had a few weeks or whatever until they could retire. They didn't want to get shot or get killed or anything like that. But it was just, even when I was like a kid, I'm like, oh, that sounds so cool. Hey, John Michael. Um, this now we're is this a sort of uh, old fashioned? Hey, thank you, Billy Crystal and uh, Gregory Hines. Thanks, Ken. Yeah, old fashioned or just uh, 
It's an old fashioned of sorts. It's it's an old fashioned without the the fashion. It's a, it's a non fashionable old fashioned. I'm gonna buy you a thing of cherries. I have I have like the, the cherry jam up there, but no, nah, you gotta put like you gotta put either you can either muddle it. I used to muddle cherries and um, orange and a little lemon peel in it, mush it all around, and then shake it up and throw it in there. You gotta you know you gotta do it. You gotta make a mess. You gotta muddle it. My muddler was the go-to weapon when I was a bartender. If anybody fucked around at the bar, so you know, the hell is this? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. But anyhow, Ugh. yeah, I, I, I mean, it just I've had no sleep in two last two days. Uh, I've mean, I had a whole bunch of caffeine, so this is this might straighten me out. Mm. Or it'll kill me. I, I, don't, I, 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 I don't know. I almost, I almost punted a cat two days in a row now. Oh. So, well, one night because the one was just doing this, mm-hmm. sticking claws to me every time I tried to fall asleep until I finally pushed it away. And then the other one ran up the stairs today. You know how they'd get in front of you? Mm-hmm. It got too close. So we, we haven't been getting much sleep because, well, my wife's been leaving for work. Hello, Nana. Getting up at 5, leaving at five uh, 5.15. Quarter to five, five fifteen. That's gross. Stuff like that. So it's what happens to me is I I tend to wake up before mm-hmm. anticipating the early wake up, and so yeah. I think I had like three and a half, four hours sleep last night. Yeah, yeah. We sound it. We don't sound very. Uh, no, I'm not very convenient, uh, but uh, effervescent. Yeah. Plus, I you know I ran in the office today. Um, had some things to take care of, and so you know I had that whole thing, but. It doesn't really, I mean, it's just the same amount of hours. It's actually less hours because I'm not working two hours that I'm driving. Yeah, it's the, dr- the drive. <clears throat> I don't know, like when I used to work my last job for my dad, which was uh, making me suicidal. Yeah, you were um, up in Quakertown for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And it was a long, it was like an hour drive. Mm-hmm. And I used to take back roads because um, taking the turnpike, uh, taking the turnpike's like driving through a meteor shower. You know, you're driving through basically a very well-packed, very tiny asteroid field, and your car is slowly getting like eroded away by it. Well, during the time that you were doing that, that literally was, they were mm-hmm. milling the roads. But not even, even 10, 20 years ago, whenever I drove my Mini that, got destroyed. Yeah. It, it, there's just something about that road that there's always little pebbles. In your, like, I won't go near trucks anymore when I'm on the highway because yeah, I don't want to get shit thrown back. They spew back. it at you. And- uh well, if you want a good example of it, mm, I do. next time you go in that bathroom, oh, there's a, a license plate in there, a British flag, and that that was from the front of Nancy's car. Oh, Jesus Christ! Is it like you know, black and white now? It's, it's sandpapered, yeah, yeah. or what? Road rashed. Yeah, and my that own. that paint was better than what was on our car. The front of our car was horrendous. Yeah, the kid keeps asking me uh, when I'm going to get a new license plate because uh, still my original license plate I had when I got my first car mm-hmm. in '84. They made me give that one up because they changed them. They took, it was the yellow and blue ones. Yeah. So I eventually got a, uh, a letter from the state troopers. What is that? I'm hearing a little bit of a, a little buzz. Yeah. Not a buzz. I'm hearing like a bell. Um, it, the state troopers gave me a letter saying, if you don't put your new license plate on, we're going to ticket your ass. That's it. Um, so I put the new one on. I've had it ever since, but it's been hit a few times. Front or back? Your back? My like, rear. Yeah. Yeah. Nancy, um, Nancy's is delaminating. Mine's delaminated. It's basically flat. Um, it's it beat in hell, and I'm just like, I, I, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it until you literally can't read it. And when they bitch, I'm gonna be like, you wanted me to put it on. I'm not taking it off. And what's really messed up is, I remember my original license plate. I have no idea what this one is. I had never memorized it since the day I've gotten it. I, I, I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh yeah, right, right, right. But I couldn't tell you what it is right now. But I know my old one was GDS 279. Mm. I don't know. My brain works in mysterious ways. As long as it's working. Well, it's functioning. I don't know if it's functional. Mm-hmm. But, you know. I mean, Kenny knows. We used to, we used to have practice for the hockey team and Look, what was our record? One in 357? Something like that. Well, I think we're the only team that lost to another team that didn't have a goalie. 
that's not good. We wouldn't. We were trying to be nice. We didn't want to shoot. Hmm. I was screaming, jumping up and down like a lunatic, like, please just shoot anywhere. Just throw it at net. We're losing 12 to nothing. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. Didn't matter. As long as some jackass brought beer at the end, everything was fine. Sure. So when that one asshole didn't remember they were bringing the beer. Here's one of the video from the other night. Let's see it. Let's mm. see if you hear how loud it is here. All right. Now I hear me here. Yeah. This is from Nico, yeah? Yeah. For some reason, when they say more power, in my head, I hear Mark Howard. Maybe you should channel say that. Just yell that. No. Mark I, I, Howard. The only time I yell is when you say, I'm a cowboy. That's uh, it. That is the only time I, and, uh, you know. What if I put reverb more? Let's see if it sounds better. Oh, no. It sounds shitty. Oh. No difference. I mean, the good news is in the video, I'm not there. That's those dudes. Yeah, yeah, that's how I figured it out. Say it, say it. Anyway, that was cool. But, um, <sighs> you know, it was a good night. It was a good night. Mm -hmm. I mean, we went, I went, at what time we get home? Like four o'clock in the morning? It was. About five or three. Yeah, I, I I just I recall like everybody wanting to go to bed, and I'm like, "Are you going to bed now already?" And I just got that look, like. <laughs> it was a, it was, it was, it was a fun night. There were a lot of people there. It was, um, yeah. Thanks, screwballs. It was really really nice. Yeah. And we, we have um, what is it next weekend? Is uh, peppers. So we're, oh, we're thank God. local again. Yay. Thanks, Liz. I like peppers. It's nice and crowded. I'd like Liz. to thank Pat for being here on the show. Oh, oh where is he? He's yeah. not here. Mm. I think I I, th literally, I literally think he's he's in another state of intoxication. Maybe no, I think he's in another state. No doc. Well, that's fine. I felt bad, man. Baby doc was like it's great when he comes on, but he always, he always feeds back. Yeah, well, you know, we never let him say anything, so <laughs> it's a, kind of a downer. Yeah. But uh, I owe him a copious amount of beer. Well, then make it happen. I have to run into him. I don't want to go out to Norristown carrying a bunch of beer. It's like bootlegging. Yeah. State lines. Well, some lines anyway. You know? Yeah. I think it's funny. Like the, the kid drives through Norristown every day on the way to school. And she's just, she's gotten to the point. Like at first she's like, what's the big deal, dad? And I'm like, um, depends on where you're at. It's kind of a bad neighborhood you're driving through. Where? Along the road you're going. Um, but now she's like, now she's like more concerned with the road being <laughs> shitty. Well, it's like the, near the Whitpain. That horror that's right there, all that construction. Mm -hmm. That's all up and down the road between like the bridge and all the way up to Monaco. Right. So thanks, Pennsylvania. Well done as always. Mm -hmm. I was driving. Where, where was I today? I was in uh, in Telford, downtown Telford. There were potholes Scenic. everywhere. I well, hit, it's Telford. Nailed one man. New car. Ooh, that was that, Did you uh, wince? I just was. Ooh. I imagine you were pissed. Nope. My cousin had a. Um, I bought an extended warranty on my wheels. My cousin had a 1975 Corvette, and this was in 1981. She was driving through the city of Palm Beach and left a manhole cover open. Oh, God. And it tore her front wheel completely off. Well, yeah, that'll that'll happen. Yeah. What's really fucked up is when we took Bree's car, some dickhead sideswiped uh, the wife's car while it was parked on the road because, you know, they only had the entire other part of the friggin' street to go around. Um, and weirdly, and mad, it, it's bizarre that he just kissed the car enough to scrape the paint. Mm-hmm but just obliterated her side view mirror and his, hers, it's whatever. 
Um, them bars. But we took it up to the shop and man, it was like, looking at the other cars that were there, she's just like, okay, I don't feel so bad. <laughs> mm. I mean, just it back in the day, like you, you'd have like a collision with your car and it wouldn't self-destruct, but now they're like formula one cars, you know, they fall apart. You know, like the old 1960s torpedo looking F1 cars, you'd see them like flying down the track, the wheels would fall off, but they were just like a torpedo rolling down and just mm -hmm. obliterating whoever was in the way and who's inside. Now they just fall apart and the cockpit stays intact. Gotcha. Same with the cars. I mean, yeah. These things were just obliterated. Like, like well, it's I remember all plastic. Well, they're designed to crumple, but like, I remember in driver's ed, like you saw these like old, like, you know, 42 Packards or whatever the hell they were. And they'd hit a tree and the car would fold around the tree. But the person inside would have been dead. <laughs> yeah. They were the frothy mess all over the rest of the car. But like, but the amount of like, I mean, that's like hitting it at a hundred miles an hour. You hit that at 100 miles an hour the car you have now, the whole front end falls apart, but it doesn't hit the cockpit. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't hit the, where you're sitting. But back then, it would just shove the engine into your sternum. But so it was just, but it's, it's amazing. Like my first car was a piece of shit, 84 Plymouth Turismo, which was theoretically a charger, but let's not even think about that. I tapped somebody from behind because I, well, I don't even get into it, but didn't do any damage to them. Like tiniest little, my phone, tiniest little damage. I think it, it dented the, um, the light that lit up their license plate. My whole, the front end was all like the, the headlights were down. You know, the, everything was the, all of the, sh the, the internal components that held everything on, like the, the brackets were all smashed, mm. but the front of it looked normal because it was all mushy. It was like foam. Well, they put styrofoam in the front of cars. Well, it wasn't. They no, used I mean, to. It was like um, it was like plastic foam, though. It, it was like it was like you know like what a super ver bird front end looks like. Mm -hmm. Imagine if that was made out of like you know foam, and it, you could crush it, but then it would come right back into mm -hmm. shape. It was that. Mm -hmm. Problem was, it would also just um, rip all the paint off too. Is Bree sending me a picture? Ah, yes, of course. So the stores are already starting to stock. Um, Valentine's? No, spring. Cool. Spring. And and if anybody likes snow, I apologize. If you love snow, send an email and say thank you because uh, it's my fault we didn't get any this year. Okay. I bought a new shovel. It must have cost you a lot then. No, it's just I haven't done it. And like I have two shovels. One's aluminum. It's all beat to shit hmm. from hitting ice. And the other one's plastic and it's, um, I thought it was cause I did a tune up on my snow blower. It's probably both of us. Right. And I also got, um, shear pins for my blower. So yeah, we fucked up. Now we don't get any snow, but that's fine. I don't mind if I don't get it. We don't get any we, snow. We do have a special guest in the studio tonight. We do. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We got Russell's yeah. base. Yeah. BC rich. Does that have a name? I don't know if he has a name for it. Damn. But that's Russ's base back there. What is it? It's a BC Rich, uh, what is that? That's that's a BC Rich Eagle. That is beautiful. And it's a, like an 82, 83. Uh, now, is that his initial one? Is no, it? it's for, BC Rich. For, so it's. The but, R's for Rich. Uh, but don't, um, did, just, you know, they started, they started changing it to the that logo. Mm. But, so that guitar right there, they were both bought on the same day. Oh, gotcha, we, gotcha. We got those at 8th Street Music <laughs> in Philly way back when. When A Street Music was on Arch Street, sure. which makes no sense whatsoever. It just happens, man. But um, that thing is quilted maple to that the end. It is beautiful, degree. though. And it's koa in the center, I believe, or walnut. It's it's simple, but it's It used amazing. to have an electronics array in it, but when he got it, it was all removed. Mm. It it sounds really good. And if you look up Four pickups. Geezer Butler... Uh, from that time frame, 1982-83, you'll see that that's the bass he was playing. It's hmm. a nice bass. Is yeah. that now that that was? No, I'm sure he's got like 50 or 60 no. since then. He he's he's a pretty simple guy when it comes to bass. He's probably got about maybe 10 altogether. Hmm. Oh, is that it? Just 10 for a guy that plays. Well, I mean, uh, I'm not I'm not comparing him to you. 
but yeah. Yeah, but I know people with just as many as I do. I know. I mean, Christ, Caitlin's got like- um, Mark's probably got as many as I do or close to it. Yeah, Caitlin's got like four or five cellos, mm -hmm. a violin. I'm going to count mine, so two basses. And three guitars. She has two jazz masters and my. I mean, we have other strat. things here. We have violas and. Yeah, yeah. I have a banjo mandolin somewhere and there's multiple acoustics oh, in the other room. That's right. She worked a trombone and I don't know what else. She's got all kinds of shit like the school gave her. They're like, fuck it. They're tearing the building down. Take the orchestra. And I have a couple things up in the attic that need to be repaired. She's restoring the, the cellos to their formal glory. So. It's like, okay, well, you know where Mr. Adler is. He can help you. Because she was, oh, my God, that jazz master she got for Christmas? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's loving that thing. She should. Jesus Christ, she's loving that thing. She that's had, not, that's not. One. I just, for a minute, you texted me. You're like, Mexico? I'm like, see? I didn't know what the hell you were talking about. And then I remembered. I'm like, oh, wait. I ran in and looked. I'm like, no, it's headquarters. There's Pat. Corona. Corona, California. Yep, it's from the motherland. What's up, Pat? How's it going? Ah, it's going. Why you be here, man? I brought extra beer. Uh, no, I wish I got. I was planning on it, but I ended up with. Um, so you you want to hear how my weekend went? <laughs> the next word you're going to say is hookers. No, no. Okay. I wish. I wish it was that easy. <laughs> well, they they're very expensive. And easy. <laughs> yeah. What happened? What's so up? my. Uh, so I, I, I drove to Florida uh, Sunday. Good God, no. And I made it here. I made it here. And me, I got, I got here about 4.30 in the morning. My, my daughter has an inner ear infection. She was supposed Ooh. to fly back on Wednesday. So we were worried about a bunch of stuff with that. And uh, so she was better parents than mine. So she needed to, I didn't want her to be in a lot of pain or damage her eardrum on, you know, because it is an inner ear infection. It's not a standard one. You know what I mean? See my last statement. Yep. Yep. So <laughs> exactly. So I drove down here and in the interim on my way down, I found out that the contractor that we had, that was supposed to do a bunch of work down here, canceled. And I have renters coming on Friday. Oh. And I need a hot water heater put in. So guess what? It showed up today. I put it in. And I'm cleaning a bunch of stuff up and I do windows now and all that other fun stuff. And I'm leaving at the crack of dawn in the morning to come back home because it's my last week of my job as well. <laughs> God. It's been, it's been, this is, this is guaranteed to be the week from hell for me. Where, where in Florida is this? Uh, Bradenton area. Which, which uh, side's that? That's it. That's the Gulf side. Okay. Okay. Yeah. My, my, uh, my sister lives down there. Um, relatively close to where the last couple of hurricanes came on and she's her house had a little bit of damage like enough to be aggravating yeah and um she's she's been saying that like she's having a very hard time getting contractors to come out oh yeah and i'm i'm scott I, i'm lucky where i'm at i'm scott free like mm -hmm. it was supposed to hit us directly and for some reason this manatee county that we're in the manatee indians knew what they were doing when they when they settled here because it really Every time that there's, oh, we're going to get a hurricane, it goes north or south of us. Oh, and, man. You know, this, time, this time it was like two and a half hours south of Fort Myers. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, you, yeah. You're, you're not far from where my mom is. We had that conversation before. She's in San Antonio, which is okay. north of you. But um, she was spared all the nonsense. Yep. Yeah, Pardon, like, break in for one second. If it gets really reeky in here, it's because it took my shoe off. I apologize. So tell me mm. this stuff. Anyway. Oh, so here's a classic too today. My wife and I go for breakfast this morning. <laughs> you know, it's a typical, you know, Florida dive dinner kind of thing. They have really, really good food Stuckies. there. <laughs> What's that? Stuckies? <laughs> no, not Stuckies. It's called the Ellington Diner. Oh, okay. And it's a little family owned thing. And we're sitting next to this older couple and this dude gets up and he sounded like a freaking duck walking out the door. Oh. I'm like my wife and I looking at each other going, did that just happen? You're in Florida. Yeah. Trail busting. So well, that, yeah, that was, no, that wasn't even trail musting, dude. That was, that was trail blazing. Oh. <laughs> well, that's like this guy wants to hear you talk about retiring down there. It's a, it's a fucking nightmare down there. I, can't I, be. There. I know what it's like. Oh man. I, I, I know. 
I I have I I have I have good memories of like cruising around with my my cousin and his uh seventy one Roadrunner. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, you know, just like basically doing the, the, the Dukes of Hazard thing down there. That was fun. Mm-hmm. But Jesus Christ, man. I, I was watching something. Oh, do you guys know of the, the show The Doom Patrol on HBO? Yep. Yes. I haven't I, watched it yet. I watched the, the first couple of the first episodes that are out now for the new season. Oh, my God. They use Animal from Wasp in the opening. Perfect. It, oh, it is. Awesome watch it it's hysterical but they were talking about the one guy who's robot man because he's kind of stupid yeah yeah and they were the the one character was talking about like why he's so stupid it's like the florida public school system and i just left the room oh my god i (laughs) know i mean when you go to jefferson davis middle school you're you're pretty much doomed (sighs) yep no that's delaware (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> you have the theme to do, you have like uh dueling banjos over there but um it's hard florida is a weird place it's like you know i mean get past the fact that the bugs never die they just get bigger <laughs> the only thing that keeps the bugs from getting the size of a human is the lack of oxygen on the planet literally otherwise they'd be like the size of a car and a few of them are. What the heck was that yeah. movie with the giant bugs that like looked like people and then it would just eat everybody? And it made that clicking noise? Oh, I don't know. There was There's a bunch of them out there. No, this was some horror flick. And it was like, the, 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 they are actually giant flying bugs. But when they landed and they would stand up on their two back feet and they wrapped their shell around them, they looked like people. I think that was just Channel 12 and uh, Palm Beach. <laughs> that was the news. Now, it, it, it wasn't Chud. Oi! Because I, I remember I was when, when we were over here um, pre New Year's. Mm-hmm. I was upstairs talking to some folks in your kitchen, and I was telling them about the Phase Four moment at my my parents. Uh, my mom and I were down there, and she went to bed, and I'm like, "Go, man! Showtime late nights on. You go to bed." And um, you know, I'm I'm sitting there rocking whatever the hell horrorful soft porn thing I was watching. Skinamax, yeah. Yeah, she starts screaming bloody murder. And I'm thinking, oh my God, Haitians. Because it was that time. So I ran in and uh, she's like screaming. I turned the light on. Every surface of the room was covered in big red bull ants. Big ones. Oof. So I literally had to walk over to her, pick her off the bed, carry her out of the room, and go in. And since you live in Florida, you have that backpack pump sprayer thing like from Ghostbusters. Grabbed yeah. that and a couple of cans of Raid and went in and just went nuts on the room to the point where later my tongue started going numb, and I, which I found out later is um, well, from you know pesticide poisoning. But anyway. Mm-hmm. The, you became the Toxic Avenger, basically. It's Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, now I'm immortal. But um, – but we that's when we realized that um if you go to the florist and they have those little foam things that they shove the flowers in don't be a pack rat and keep them they're soaked in sugar oh oh so there was a one one in her closet and i went in with the the little ghostbuster hose and smeared it and walked outside and then put the thing like a billion ants came out of it it was, uh, it was disgusting. But on top of the, the bug problem, then you have the fact that you've got people from Ohio and Pittsburgh that live there, and that's already bad enough. And then you have just enough, what's the word, hillbillies to make it no fun. I'm not saying anything. I, I'm down there enough, and uh, I spend a lot of time with the retired people at the retirement well, you were on the community. West Coast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all old people. I was on the East Coast. That's mm-hmm. all horror. And then I go to the amusement parks when I'm on the other side. So yeah, but I mean, like, well, I mean, I fit in because because like how Tampa is pretty cosmopolitan. I'm um, working on downtown. my dad's pool since age of nine. I do have a red neck. This is how you like my neck is about a hundred years older than the rest of me. Mm. Yeah, it's terrifying. I saw it once. It was not something I ever want to see again. Um, yeah, I. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Florida. 
every once in a while I think like eh, it might be neat. I like Vegas better, but it's it's not acceptable to the other part of my house. Mimic. I like the, Vermont, the movie was called like, Mimic. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember I remember I saw that in the theater. Um and the freaking uh, movie kept stopping and starting and breaking and so that's probably why I don't remember what the hell it was. Yeah, that movie was freaky. Yeah, anything like that. I remember I saw one called Phase Four. And I don't remember anything about the movie except this dude fell into a big hole in the ground and he gets up and there are little holes in the pit he's in and 80 bazillion ants come out of it and eat them. And I'm like, no, no, no. Lived through that. Don't want to deal with that. Ugh. No. When I was a kid, we had, uh, it was probably termites, a mm. swarm in my living room when my parents were out. They were flying. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. termites. We used to get that in my front yard. It was like it was like a fountain of termites flying out of the ground. Yep. Uh -huh. And then it happened in a house that I was, I was living in at Roxborough, and uh, I figured out what it was fairly quickly. And then we we had to have this whole mitigation thing done. We we called um, Terminex. That's and who came we, out. That's who we utilized. And he's like, "Oh, this is a nightmare." <laughs> Yeah, you think? I had to hire a structural engineer. Well, there was no damage, but what the guy did was they put Terminex has this new this system, and I've seen it in some of the houses around here. Um, it looks like a plat, you know, those like sprinkler heads that pop up. That's what we had. It looks like that. It's and a bait it, station. Yeah, all it is is a piece of wood shoved in the ground. Special piece of wood. It's a tasty piece of wood, and it causes genetic defects. No, this wasn't. This was just. They come around once a month and look at it. And if it's eaten, then they bring the special wood. Oh, so we had special wood already in because we already had them. Yeah. And it, it annihilates them. They, oh, they, they're, they're unable to molt. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We had, um, when I was, a, I used to work at a deli and we used to have these guys, they would come out and spray this shit. Of meat like that. Oh, nice. Anyways, they would come out and uh, I gotta go and finish the meat noise. Cleaned up. Meat music. Yeah, they would come out and spray this shit. And what it would do was if a roach ate it, it would eat the roach. And it, would, it was an enzyme that would create more enzyme from the roach. Hmm. And then other people, the other roaches would come and eat that. And it was disgusting because after about a month after they came, before they came again, you'd find Carcasses. piles of, mm -hmm. no, it's just piles of dust. Oh. It's just it's gross. Ugh. So we're back at... Uh... For New Year's, we're going to be back at, at Water Tower again. Oh, they, they were cool with everything? Yes, they were. Mm, I know. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Psycho what? With Hawkeye? Uh, I never said that. I was just asking about Matt. Oh. Matt's Matt. Ah. All right, well, I'm done mine, so I'm doing this. All right. You ready for this? Sure. All right, let me let me let me play the right music here. Hang on a minute. Um, yeah, let's, let's try this. That just sounds so lovely, doesn't it? Makes us sound kind of classy, or as my sister would say, to sound classy or classy. There you go. Well, thank you. I don't remember what the hell I got. I couldn't remember what I bought. Sorry. Oh, that's nasty. So, oh. Shit, I really didn't remember what I... Wait. Uh, Holy shit, I am... Look at me go. I thought I brought a bought a, uh, a pale ale, but it's a brown ale. First Which makes love. me very happy, called First Love. English brown from, ale. From McAllister Brewing Company in North Wales, PA. Ooh, that's a high amount of alcohol. That's okay. Yeah. So it is... Uh, it is a uh, first love English brown ale. I could stop there. The way Paula, I'm... Paula, you changed your name. Paula's here. Welcome to the show. Paula. Hello, Paula. Listen to that click. Clickety clack. Let's see what it looks. Let's see what it smells and does. Pours like. I'll wait for you. Sounds like a sound effect. I'm trying to titillate people. Uh... You need to you need to chill, man. What the fuck, dude? Uh, oh, damn. <laughs> this smells really good. Let's see what we got. I here. was smelling it before I even finished pouring. Not a great head, but it's very sweet. 
Very sugary. It's a malt. It's a it, it's a brown ale. It's a malty brown ale. Mm. Yeah. Not a lot of hops. Nice. It needs a little more hops. It needs a little bittering. Yeah. But damn, that's very nice. Very nice indeed. If Pat was here, I bought enough for Pat. You know. It's... So I thought of you the other day uh, when I was I was out to dinner on Friday oh, night. Okay. So uh, Friday night, I I. I because the beer made me think of this. It's it's a, this is a crazy uh, twisted tale. I hope so. So Friday night I was supposed to go see. I went and saw my son play down at Milk Boy in Philadelphia. His band Studweiser, mm-hmm. and we were supposed to go into Center City to have dinner. Russ and I. Gotcha. So we. Uh, he gets over here. He goes, "Do you hear the traffic report?" I said, "Yeah." He goes, "It was an hour and fifteen minute backup." So we were like, "Well, I guess we'll eat a around here, and by the time we get done eating." You know, we'll be able to get down there. And it worked out that way. So we ended up at Seasons 52. Ah. Excuse me. So there's a real Bless one. Bless you. And Seasons 52 reminds me of like, like that's where you used to hang out, but that's not where it was. The other restaurant was sort of in that little vicinity there. Where is Seasons 52 now? I can't even remember. It's next door to the furniture store and Maggiano's. Oh, right, right. Bennigan's. Yeah. Yeah. It's like right where Bennigan's. But they, they, don't, they don't have taps in there. Well, huh? no. Nothing. Yeah. It's all bottled. Oh. And Maggiano's pulled their taps out. Why? I don't know what's going on. No taps. Hmm. And then Eddie V's doesn't have a tap either, as far as I know. It, it I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind. Like, I, I brought in that stuff that one time that was bottle conditioned. Mm-hmm. And when I used to brew beer, it was bottle conditioned. It's. And I never like I know that some most I think uh, commercial brewers use you put stuff in and it makes the head it makes the carbon dioxide. What I used to do and what um, most microbrews do is they there's a little bit of yeast that's still alive when you're ready to bottle. You put extra sugar in, you bottle it, you close it, you leave it. That's where the foam comes from, mm-hmm. and I like I prefer that. I just think it's a fuller body kind of beer. Hmm. So maybe they're maybe doing what, that or maybe it's just easier to, maybe it's cheaper. Who knows? It's probably cheaper than having all the lines, I guess. But I would imagine that serving yeah. from a keg is a lot cheaper than, yeah, you know, by the bottle. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it, for whatever reason, that made me think of you uh, as I sat there. <laughs> yeah, I used to live over it at was, that, I guess. It was, you know, it was okay. That, that, that's what I'll say. My, my food was pretty good. Mm-hmm. The place just reeks of looking like late, late nineties, mid two thousands. Yeah, you know, it's that oak look, that. and yeah, nobody wants that. I don't think the the property is being maintained that well, and it's it's a pretty high endy place. Like that's the one thing about Bennigan's that I, I kind of like. I know it's kitschy, but like they had all the shit mounted to the walls. Like you know, there'd be like a Brody helmet, and then you know, like a, a saxophone. Right, just, just no, shit. No, I used you know, I used to go of, there. Yeah, I used to love that place. I just that's. Mm-hmm. Just, I, it's funny because I remember the Bennigan's where I was, where I grew up uh, in Northeast Philly. People I know used to be like, "Why are we going there? Why are we always going there?" Get a burger and a beer and some wings and keep on moving. I was like, "Do you have anything else you would like to do?" I'm all in. Silence. Nothing. Right. What do they do now? They go to a bar and they sit there all day, right. every day. Tell me how the place that we somewhat frequent is any different. Oh, not at all. No, and I don't have a problem with that. But I mean, I'm not the one bitching about it. I mean, I get the only thing that weirds me out about that place is the people that go down there at uh, three o'clock in the afternoon and stay till eight. Well, somebody's got to pay the gas bill every day. <laughs> That's the guy, actually. I'm it's talking about, yeah, the metal guy. No, but I mean, like. I, Jesus Christ, my liver wanted to jump out of my body and strangle me after Saturday. And I didn't even drink that much. But I, I, I was know. actually in worse shape when I woke up Saturday morning from Friday night. Oh, shit. And I don't, I'm not really exactly sure. Well, we did come back here and have a massive we, amount of beers afterward. Well, we, but we did have one of Carl, uh, Carlos Martinis. But I had no problem the next morning from, from. But if you had the second, if you had another one. But we did not. Yeah. Yes, you would have died if you had to say we, we kept it to a minimum. But uh I do have some footage from or well I can play the audio at least uh from David's band. I think it's oh, cool, here. yeah. Let's Absolutely. See if I can find it. Let's see if I can, here it is. Let's see if I can find 
It was mobbed in there. Yeah. Where was this? At Milk Boy. Oh. Across from Jefferson. Huh. Like, the behind me was just insane. So we're hoping to share all that with you. Find us on the internet, all that good stuff. Studweiser. Two words. This is another song about dogs. So weird. I think I'm actually done being horny. This is about Bridgeport. As are many songs. If you're from the King of Prussia Bridgeport area, the depots, this old used to be an old man bar. Yeah. It's a dive bar, but it's 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 a great dive bar. And and my kid and all his friends, that's where they hang out. I've gone down there a couple times with them and it's fun. It's a fun place. Reminds me a lot of the places I used to go to when I was their age. Yeah. Is, is that the bar by the railroad tracks down there? No, no offense to the people that own the depot. It, you know, I'm sure they know what they are. What's that, Doc? Is that the bar by the railroad tracks? Yes. Right next to the railroad tracks. All right. And they have a video that, that deals with this. Let's see if I can find that. You got to do uh, get them on the uh, the Instinct show down at Screwballs one of these days. They, they don't want to play with us. <clears throat> no? No. Well, you're kind of a dork. We're old. Yeah. We're dad rock. Mm. Not that it's ever been said to me, but. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the kid was giving me shit about, you know, being a dad and everything. And I'm like, your friend came over here the other night and took my jacket. Why do you think that is? They're on Amazon music. Badass. Very interesting. Here it is on YouTube. <laughs> well, then again, we're on YouTube. That's terrifying. This is the official recording. Oh, I think I'm, I've seen this video. I think you have to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely her. Yeah. Susie Joe Donuts. Mm -hmm. Oh, Doc vanished. Maybe he went to the depot. He may have. I would if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Now he's back.
fun. Yeah. Right? We can get them in here one of these days. Yeah, we, we can try. We shove this back. Turn around, sit on that side, let them play. We'll come play over behind here. us. No, I mean, we just pull this all the way back. and then We can just sit on stools. When they, then they play. We could be the stools. And then we go back and, you know, yeah, we, we can work this out. Yeah. That's the other half of the set. Mm. I just remembered David playing on, I think it was Richie's. Kick. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I went up to him afterwards. And I was like, how many times during that? set did you go to hit something that wasn't there because hmm. he had that monster th th oh, yeah. well originally he had the full set in here yeah it was, gigantic. It was like neil Pert. it was like 28 different heads in there. well it was three three tom toms two floor toms two bases yeah it you was know. huge now he uses as richie predicted he would <laughs> one up one down that's what they call it one up one down yeah Damn. Because it's just easier to gig. Yeah, yeah. And more than likely, oh my God, you're going to be on a bill with 16 other bands, and that's all that's going to be there I'm anyway. surprised Mike does the setup he does. I I know. I've carried that shit, man. There's it's, a lot of stuff. It's, it's big. It's a lot. You know, it's he's got, what, like seven tom-toms? Yeah. Eight tom-toms? I don't know. Whatever he's got across that strut that mm. runs across the front of it. It's freaking huge, man. He was out car shopping today. <sighs> That's the worst. I have uh I was hoping Ed would show up and we could talk about his car. He was there. No, I mean here. Oh. Oh. He's not here. 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 Oh, there. Yeah. But uh but he got his new car. That was kind of yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. yeah. mitts. Which is what Mike was looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I have I have some rare chicken man. You do? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know how we'll we'll fare on this, but well, run it. For, Let's see for what all happens. the listeners. For all the, yeah, for everybody who's you know, you know, hanging on. See what's going on. You ready? Yeah. Late in 1967, he walked into the office of the year. police commissioner of Midland City. Pardon me. Uh, yeah. Could you direct me to the office of the police commissioner? Uh, walk through that glass door. Thank you. That was predictable. Yeah. He said his name right. was Chicken Man. I'm good. Man. My name Thank you. Is Chicken Man. And he announced yeah, that although he worked in a shoe store Monday through Friday, on weekends he'd be available to fight crime and or evil. I think Al got that from here. I hope so. You know who I'm saying when I say Al. Wreaking havoc upon criminals everywhere. Havoc. As he flapped his way high above city streets, sidewalks, and alleys. <laughs> All right, I'm afraid the flag is up for you, buddy. Huh? On your parking meter. It means you've parked overtime. And in 1969, after flapping his way over an additional 240 parking violations, 43 jaywalking, 7 shopping cart thefts, and 12 doggy doodos, the beating wings abruptly stopped. And it was all over. The famous Fowl announced to his mother, also known as his partner, the maternal marauder, that he was leaving crime fighting I'm leaving in crime order, fighting, to order to go into show business. His new partner would be the diving horse in Atlantic City. Diving horse in Atlantic City. Pardon me, which way to Steel Pier? Uh, go off uh, the end of the board. Uh, burnt there. down. Thank you. Badly enough. Well, this is my... I was just weirded out that the Steel Pier could burn and down. By very popular demand. Wood burns. Three years later. Steel Pier. <laughs> guess who's coming back? Back. Hello. I'm the wonderful White Winged Warrior. And I think I'm bleeding to death. The Chicago Radio Syndicate proudly presents the triumphant return of the most famous superhero in radio history, along with his very famous friends. Now. Another exciting episode in the life of the most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known. Ladies and 
and gentlemen of the press. I, I can't hear that when hearing Doc's voice. I have summoned no. you here. Why have you summoned us here? Yes. And some of you are even yes. asking why the feathered fighter is standing at my side. Why is the feathered fighter standing? Stop, quiet, please. All right, feathered fighter. This person I'm about. Oh, we used to go crazy in our house when he came on. <laughs> I think the thing that really made us laugh was the way Miss Helfinger put him down. Uh, through, through my last year of college, is for and a ray gun is what got me. I mean, it didn't get me, but everybody was going around zapping each other with the with the gun. Do you know that my father would actually make people wait in his law office while he listened to Chicken Man on his transistor radio? He did. I remember that when the school bus got to the school and the driver told us to pile out, we wouldn't do it because it was in the middle of a winged warrior episode. So we'd sit there freezing in this bus, laughing our heads. Although you know these loyal winged warrior fans will be back in droves again, imagine if you can all the thousands of brand new fans he's got in his way. Come on, wings, beat your heart out. This exciting comeback of the zany Birdman of radio means that thousands of Chicken Man fans in your market will once again be totally glued exclusively to your place on the radio dial just to hear... Hello, this is the uh, dungeon. Yes, this is the commissioner. Is this the uh, wing warrior? Dungeon? Yes, it is. You dungeon something? Uh, yes, yeah, sorry to bother you, commissioner, but I was wondering how things were coming along with my uh, ransom money. Um... Uh... You know, the one million dollars? Yes. Um, to be paid to the kidnappers by midnight tonight? It's coming back to me now. For my release from the dungeon here where I am? Mm-hmm. Commissioner? Mm hmm You don't have the money, do you, Commissioner? No. Here's what you'll get in this great return package. 60 of the classic original two-and-a-half-minute Chicken Man episodes. Featuring the original for sales to the radio. I know, I tried it's to get it. Sure. Well, I've got to know where you are to tell you where to go. Oh, it's dark down here. You didn't find the light switch either? Hello? No, I didn't. Well, how did you get there in the first place? I fell in. How could you fall in the cave? Somebody left the trap door open. What trap door? The one in my bedroom closet. Miss Helfinger? Yes. Are you going to help me? Yes. What do you want me to do? Call my mother and tell her that I fell in my chicken cave. <laughs> Have you been drinking? No. Then what's wrong with you? She was cooking. Yes. You know my utility belt? Yes. With all my secret crop fighting equipment? Right. And you know my stunken array gun? Stunken array gun? Yes, it shoots stunken array. And? Well, I just shot myself with it. How did you do that? Well, see, I was and flying. of course, these hilarious episodes include the full story of how the bird was born. Pardon me, sir. Yeah? Are you by chance a vicious criminal? Uh-huh. Fine. Would you take a look at this costume I'm wearing? Yeah. Do you feel anything strange? Uh... Anything at all? Uh, yeah. And what is that? I'd, uh, like to kiss you. <laughs> kiss me? Yeah. It's How do you account for that? Because you look like an adorable bunny rabbit. And along with these especially selected Best of Chicken Man Adventures, hear this fantastic package of all-new across-the-board programming material created just for this triumphant return. A group of all-new Chicken Man episodes, never before heard on radio. That guy's from well, TV. Hey, hey, ho, on a hidey, hidey, All of them are. Returned once again to strike terrific terror into the hearts of criminals everywhere. Was this syndicated radio? Yeah, I know, but spot. I can't remember. What, he did something else. With a hidey ho and a hidey ho. I heard you. Oh. You want to close Hear the door? all new okay. promos to Harold Crime Fighting's greatest comeback. Customized <coughs> with your call letters or favorite sponsor. Hello, this is Miss Helfinger. Hey, I'm here. I'm the secretary to the police commissioner of Midland City. In just a few days, the most fantastic crime fighter the world has ever known will walk through our office door. A lot when of your friends... listeners hear this, you'll be the most loved broadcaster or sponsor in town. Oh, and this coming promo package includes an optional contest feature. What happens is, you announce he's returning. And then, crisis. As you learn... Weird, huh? A little bit. I paused it. It, it goes on for another... Ten minutes. Is that the that actually an official photo? I don't whatever? think so. That's because terrifying. Yeah. No, I don't think so. And why did you not uh, do this for Halloween? I'm not doing that. Why? Because I got I got other things in plan. You could dress up like a chicken. You dress up like a chicken. I was the skull guy and wander around with a guitar. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm already working on mine. I had a lot of work to do, so I started it. You know what, man? There's not that much time left. I got to figure out.
Just hang on. We're already Ooh. listening to the American Moron Entertainment Network. So I really think what you're doing here is unethical. I, I thought you learned that by now. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. Oh, okay. Damn. We, we lose Pat. Pat had a drop for something. Oh. So, but uh, firing up the last of his torch to get possibly. The- uh, it's a nightmare down there. Doc, where the hell were you on Saturday? Uh, where was I Saturday? I was home. Well, that's no damned excuse. Well, I, the manager, my manager was out. My boss was out sick for a whole week. They told me I can have all the overtime I want to make sure he have? stays the same. So I like worked myself out. Mm. What, what did your boss have? COVID. Hmm. I thought that shit was over. It's not real. Nico had it. His boss had it. What's there's a lot of variants. The point is you get it. Then you don't have it anymore. Cause like I was telling like Nico's like, yeah, I got the shot. I'm good. I'm like, I've had it. That's not how it works. It just fights it. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I I know I've been exposed to it. Oh yeah. But I've had it twice. I was lucky. I had it. Unfortunately. Once. That I know of, but even then, that was before vaccines. Oh, I know. And we I, were all in the same boat. But I, I didn't, and that's why, like, I had actually the shit ex- pain boat. I had, a, you know, I had actually explained that to somebody. <laughs> like, they were like, "What's that?" I'm like, you had to understand. It's something new. You had all symptoms or no symptoms. Um, and God forbid you had the uh, the the system that doesn't take it well. Yeah. Or you, you vaped, you smoked, what you, whatever. But like, you know, it was, it was one of those things. Like I didn't have any, a lot, really, I didn't feel bad when I had it. See, now I felt horrible the first time, not so bad the second time. My wife and my mother-in-law were just decimated both times. Not decimated. Okay, fine. Decimated means reduced by 10%. Good. It's only this much. That, that was... So devastated, you mean? I don't care. They right. weren't good. Right. But yeah, no. Thank you for the clarification. I, I, that's one of my pet peeves. I hate when you, people use... Yeah. De- well, mm. it was definitely 10% worse than the last time. Yeah. So no, it was definitely was more than 10%. About. You know what he was talking about, but you still had to correct them. That's okay. I don't like when people use decimated to mean obliterated. I do it's it not the same too. fucking thing. And I said, yeah. Jim, I- it's... Okay. From the guy one time, I said, "Yeah, oh yeah, I got that too." And he's like, "He meant he had that." I was speaking in the verlac- vernacular, you twit. <laughs> Jim, mm. it's okay. It's not. No, 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 nope, nope. If I were a super, no, 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 no. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I'm not gonna do oh, no, no, no. Entertainment Network. Huh? Yeah. Mm. I can't wait. If I'm telling you, if not for Facebook, man, we'd be doing that like all the time. Yeah. Oh God. There'd be like a hundred songs every show. We got to just do a show to tell people, look. To hell with the it, devil. It's not going to be on Facebook Live. You're not going to see these disgusting faces. And we're just going to go nuts. Well, they, they would just bleep out half the show. But yeah. live, it would probably still be there. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, probably do that. Yeah. Just do that one of these days. Just start doing it as a damn radio show and put music into it. Why not? Then we get you know, served or something. No. I'd just- like some... Sushi? The only thing that happens is when it goes on to, um, when it uploads to, what the hell is it, YouTube? We are not uh, able to be heard in Iraq and Syria. Mm. I don't give a shit. Um, Meow. And Facebook kills us. Facebook, this, this, what you're doing, that's the only thing that can Yeah, I know. I'm just stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick right now. I'm just stroking my shit. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm a freak, man. I mean, otherwise, man, I'd be doing all kinds of crazy shit, like every goddamn show. Yeah. But we just can't. Yeah. Damn. 
fuck the authority. Let's just do it. I anyway. heard this song somewhere. I heard this song a few days ago. What I, is that sound? I do appreciate the fact that you guys sampled a little bit of it. That's Mike. Yeah, because this is too damn long an intro. Oh, the intro is like it's like it's like some kind of a galactic empire thing. Just it's a helicopter thing. thing. I mean, it's it's a the Yamaha. Cars in this I think, are awesome. I, I, I think it's a Yamaha. Um, maybe not. I'm trying to remember the keyboard. And it's, it's that old did that. enough it's that a like keyboard it, that did that. It's got that headphone stereo thing mm-hmm. that makes you kind of stoned when you hear it. Did you used to listen to? Uh, when it was on XPN, they used to do the uh, no, no XPN. Yeah, they used to do this thing like the Galaxy's End or something like that. No, I have a tape of it somewhere. It's all this like head turning music. You need to grab a guitar and do this intro now. Yeah, I can do that. All right, go do that. No, leave that there. Yeah, maybe. Oh, they played this, uh, Doc. They played this on Saturday. Oh, my, my brother and my uh, my uh, my son told me that I was pissed. I know. I I saw them coming and I told them to fucking behave. They totally didn't. They were like a total disaster, man. They just got into so much trouble the whole goddamn night. And now Ed, Ed, finally, dude. Anyway, um. Here. I'm not talking about you, oh. but um, but no, it, you guys kind of gave it away. Mike played it by accident. He played the intro. Did you know that, Mister Adler? Huh? You guys were fooling what around the beginning, and well, we had to do a sound check. Well, you did, but you did this. <laughs> that kind of gave it away. Mike did it, and Ed and I were then like, we we knew what was happening. Now, what? Help me understand. Okay. I'm not helping you understand anything. That comes out of your damn coin purse pocket thing. What That's where it? I keep my picks. Bitch. Oh, why? Why the hell do you keep them now? You're not. That's doing where it. people keep their picks, dude. That's not where I keep my picks. Well, I don't keep my shit in my ass. I don't. I keep my shit in my ass, but not my picks. Jesus Christ. Wait, were you wearing that shirt the whole time? Yeah. God, I'm not paying attention. That's because you're busy drinking. No, 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 no. No. Let's see if this works. I don't know if it's going to pick up or not, man. Whatever. Oh, you do that. I don't know. All right. That? I don't hear nothing. No. I heard. I know why. Oh. Yep. Turn on you got to turn shit on. That's on. Wait, no, I heard it now. Strum. Hold on now. No, God damn it, I demand it. Okay, no, it's not still on. That goes in there. That goes... I just hear the people I work with. Is the guitar turned on? Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ, you're fucking stupid. Anyway. Well, somebody might have touched the sand. I didn't. <laughs> See? That's better. That sounds good. Right? Yep, that's so there's, there's too much reverb on there. A little bit. That's good, yeah. Nice, nicely done. Can you hear it on the show? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Nice. Yeah, I mean, you guys played that. I'm just sitting there, nipples out. Like,
kids. Anyway. Thanks. I, I, I hope that uh, shows up at uh, Pepper's. Something's going to show up at Pepper's. Well, I hope something shows up, and I hope that shows up, too. I got to. Oh, I dropped my pick. I'm sorry. I got one back here. Uh, you all good now? Okay. Oh, uh-oh. my God. Don't spill alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> You got that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> no problem. Yes. Yes! Okay. That thing's awesome. Something like that. That's better. It's a little buzzy. Everything's a little buzzy yeah. tonight. That's fine. What's that other song we're doing with? With uh... no, I don't give anything away. How's that go? Said she can't hear us both. She can or can't? She cannot, oh. but I can hear that. Oh, I can hear me. I don't know if I can hear you. I can hear so you. So maybe we're not transmitting through the show. God knows, man. What are you not hearing? You're not hearing vo- vocals or uh, what he's doing. That's that's an instinct too that we just wrote. Yeah, a new one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nice. And then we have this one. That's that's all playable. Now, when you play, I got to ask this question. So. Okay, so you do put the thumb over. Sometimes. Sometimes. Depends on. Most of the time, I guess. I don't. Depends on the guitar, I guess. I mean, I'm assuming also it depends on what you're hitting, too. You don't want to put your thumb over shit. Boom. Yeah. Just an old guitar, man. So what you are you doing new stuff at Peppers next time? Or uh, we'll see. Is that next week or oh my god. Gotta work on my karma.
Do you know that? It's familiar, but I don't. I can't I just play it. it like we started the show. Well, yeah, but it's, it's Deuce from Kiss. Okay, okay, yeah. It's part of it. <laughs> Anyway, very nice. Not really. No, oh. had too much to drink. I was upset. There was no. There was no. Um, no uh, mob rules last week. No. No. Yeah. I noticed that. Well, you're not going to play that. It's not going to be on the set list. We've been playing a lot, though. You're not going to play stuff I like. So it's you have a choice of either it, these are the it's either one or the other. It's here. Or it's. Is it? I'm thinking the latter, yeah. It just depends on the night. Yeah, I, I you know both are good for me. Well, oh, you know what? I do have to ask you a question. Lately, you guys have been starting out harder than normal. It, What's it, up with that? What the, somebody wants it. Him? The loud guy. Oh, really? Because now you guys, yeah, I think you used to you usually put the harder stuff at the end. I think it works out better now. I like it. Yeah, I like doing that. Instead of. Ooh, you're not going to play Journey? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I like it, but I get it. It's a marketing thing. Would you guys ever discuss like doing a different song? There's lots of discussions like, about lots of things. Yeah, so I'm thinking. Like, I want to bring back. Uh, it's better I'm not playing at this point honestly uh, I'm just shitty at name that tune sound like a scorpion's tune oh well, well, he, he got it wait oh right 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 I can play about two seconds of it well that's ironic Iron Maiden, but it's not them. No. Just not the screw over Facebook from killing us. It's an instructional video on how to play guitar when you're drunk. I'd like you guys to do uh, if it will play. 
and I'm this is not it because it's a fucking ad. It's a, why are all the ads filthy? Why not? I don't blame. I'm not upset about it, but all right, here we go. Wow, that's a shitty video. Um, oh, for fuck's sake! I do a lot of stuff with you, mm. but I'm two and a half steps, so I have to mm. move it up guys, here. Guys, guys. <laughs> The shit out of their strings, man. Ugh, it's terrible. <laughs> we kill that because I don't want to get us in trouble. Oh my god! Did you guys ever do when heaven comes down? Nope. You you answered really quickly. Quickly, because if we did, I know. Oh, I Grant. thought that was Grant. What is that? That's it? um. Right. You play with. <laughs> Is it? Is that that's how it goes, right? Yeah. Doc. Yeah. Doc. Yeah. Is that how it goes? Can you hear me now? No, I can hear you now. Yes. You guys can never hear me. What's up with that? I don't know, dude. You need like a better microphone. I need something. But is that that's that's the beginning, right? Something like that. Yeah. What I just played. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I can't, that just came on my Pandora the other day. I'm like, damn. That was weird. There was a bunch of songs coming on Pandora and then saying? over the intercom at my work. It was almost all the songs that you guys play. I'm like, holy shit. I love when I go see a band play in another town and they're playing our set list and the place is going bananas. <laughs> that never happens. Out of, you, out of the set list you guys do have, though, what's your favorite song to play? That was gross. Probably, uh, probably like Mob Rules or whatever, you know, or I, I like doing this one. <laughs> um, I like stuff where we all sing harmonies together, you know, when we do all yeah. the Van Halen stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Night Ranger. Well, that crap. So that's one of the reasons I always liked the Leopard was they did harmonize well. So we don't do the harmonies with them. No, it's tough. There, that's a weird. But like, um, like I know you're not a fan, but like the Offspring, they, I know, but I like them. They did harmonize on some of their stuff. It was kind of crazy. Do you have anything on the set list that you're trying to push to get uh, played? No, I'm not pushing anything other than just some, the occasional alcoholic drink. Ah, uh, no, that works too. See that how that worked out? Well. I like that. I mean, very political. Mm -hmm. Run for office. Yeah, uh, office of nothing. There you go. I don't need that. I'm gonna put the headphones down. <laughs> yep. Wow. Oh my god. But. Excuse you. That was gross. My Speak God. Yourself. I, I was talking to myself. Sorry. 
What the hell? That's really loud. It just seems loud. It's not really. Well, no, it's loud to me because, you know, it's the same. <sighs> I can't even figure out how to push draft back on the uh, You know, that you've been drinking a lot. Stuff. Shit happens. That drink you made was like uh, moonshine. By the way, I've been watching that show Moonshine or not. You were telling me. Holy hell, man. Oops. Like now, I tried to get some of the stuff that the one guy's making, but we can't get it around here. We finished up 1923. Yeah. But they, it's a cliffhanger, like they all are. But I don't think 1893, though, I don't think that one has a uh, sequel. I think it's just a one season show. Is there an 1893? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, man. I've been like. Tom uh, Hanks made a cameo in it. I was like, wow, look at you. I've been doing like, um, I, I didn't realize uh, that I would read a bunch of. Um, Bernard Cornwell books. Um, he does. Uh, there's a show on Netflix. I think it's Netflix called uh, Last Kingdom. It's great, mm -hmm. really great. I love that show. Mm. Watched the whole thing through twice now. Mm. And uh, we, I uh, have a subscription to BritBox. Got another one of his shows called Sharp. It's about a guy in the Napoleonic Wars. It's really good. That's what I've been like going nuts and binging the shit out of. Well, we're out of time, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like four minutes off. So, uh, plugs. Nothing. nothing. Not next weekend. That's the only thing I got. Nothing this weekend. Stuff. Yeah, there's nothing this weekend. So, yeah. I'm getting gonna... carpets installed in my bedroom. That's that's. The... Oh, nice. Yeah. That's. It's about and as... knowing is half the battle. That's the excitement oh. going on here. Yeah. Um. God, yeah. Nothing really going on. But, um. All right, so not this weekend, but the weekend after, Peppers. Yeah. Was and next. after that, it's uh, Nick's Roast Beef, Northeast mm. Philly. The, 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 the steaks, what is it, Dave's? King of Steaks? Steve's. Steve's. I never remember it. They're not open late, huh? I, oh. God damn it. Just go there beforehand, put it in the cupboard. Oh my God. That's the first crocus record. Yeah. Terrible. What? Now we're. That's fine. How's that happening? I don't know. All right. Well, um, we we're back next Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Tuesday at seven. Maybe like we'll have a person. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. He vanished again. It's weird. Like he wasn't even in the car this time. It's got a lot going on. Down no, there. I know that. I'm not mocking. I'm just saying. It's like he wasn't in the car, and we still lost him. But um, uh, yeah, we'll be back uh, Tuesday next week at uh, seven thirty. And in the meantime, um, if you have any requests or want us to do anything weird, uh, the p word uh, p word podcast at gmail dot com. Oh, okay. you like I have to I have to look here because I can't remember what the fuck it is. Um, I'm guessing. Oh, you know what? Huh. I realize now we never plugged in the the cable for the show. What? Yeah, I only have the power cable, and I had never put this microphones on. Oh, so that's why no so they're just listening hears. to us in the room. Ah, uh, oh well, we're that's sitting why... here, and they're like, "There's nothing happening." That's why she can't hear us. Both. Okay. Well, that was a waste of a show. Well, whatever. We're still on podcast, you know, whatever. But <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, so next time we'll try to do this the right way. <laughs> plug the fucking cable in. Oh my god! Fucking we... morons. Or we, or you know what, or we talk to John and figure out how the hell to do this the right way and not All go I through had to Facebook. Do was plug the fuck, this cable that yeah. never got plugged into the microphone input. Yeah, that's what happens when you when drink. You remove, you remove when you're done. Yeah. No, All right, Doc. Are you going? Are you going to be there at a Peppers uh, next weekend? I have no idea. All right, let me know, man, because I got a shit ton of stuff to bring you. I might, I might not. I don't, I'm not really sure because that's another day. That's another weekend. I got to work like all the weekend. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, if if you're the, if you're there or any of your family are there, I'm talking to you, baby doc. Uh, let me know. I will bring a care package and uh, get that to you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's going to be super fucking heavy. So. Show, <laughs> what are you What are you doing over there? Oh my it's God! What a nightmare. Easy, man. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah, it gets weird.
Pour him another drink. What's that, Doc? He needs another drink. Pour him another drink. Oh, I'm terrified to contemplate, but I probably would because I like to see the world burn. But um, so we're off Facebook, but uh, for you Podbean folks, uh, yeah, there's a little extra moments. So uh, old school, not this weekend. Next weekend at Peppers, we'll plug that. Be back on Tuesday at 730. We're going to be doing my DJ shit. And hey, hey uh, whatever. Next weekend, uh, if you're bored uh i text us i am what the hell you got to do uh and uh maybe we'll just hang out locally and just get drunk as shit and act stupid and get arrested whatever uh that's about it so doc anything yeah okay. wherever you go there you are Deleted. there you go thank you buckaroo all right man uh did you delete that i deleted it Oh my God! There's nothing there. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah. All right. Well, we bye, Paula. You could, have, you could have just kept it. We could have did a like a mystery science theater three thousand thing with it. You know. He gets very upset when things it. don't go, aren't perfect. But I just deleted everything. Why the hell would anything be burned? Ed, man, later, dude. Good talk. A good well, good seeing your name. Uh, I'll see you later. And uh, yeah, Doc like Jimmy Chungus. Yeah, word up, man. Uh, so uh, yeah. Anybody's hanging around, let us know and we'll see what we see. And we will see you next time. <laughs> My God. All right. I got to go deal with him. Later, guys. Peace. Maybe next time we'll have all the cables plugged in. There you, well, you can only hope. All right, guys. Uh, I hate saying that. God, I sound like I'm doing a fucking podcast. Oh, Peace. fuck. That's right. I am. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's horrible. Anyway, all right, later. Welcome to the American Moron Entertainment Network. A bunch of goddamn nerds. They're everywhere. Yeah. They're everywhere.